Let's go to James 5 and 16. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Confess your faults one to another and pray for and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So let's look up some words. Let's look up the word effectual. Okay. Successful in producing a desired or intended result. Effective. Tobacco smoke is the most effectual. Protection against the mosquito. Okay. Let's look up the word fervent. Okay. Having or displaying a passionate intensity. So let's go back to James 5 and 16. Okay. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. So not only pray for yourself, but pray for other people as well. So that you all can be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So fervent is what? Having or displaying a passionate intensity. So what is that saying? When you pray, put more intensity in what you are praying about. Put more emotion into it. Don't be afraid to cry. Don't be afraid to raise your voice. Put more emotion into it. Let's say that you pray like this. God, thank you for what you have been doing. I thank you, God, and my back is really hurting, God, and uh, I am so tired. What time is it? Two minutes passed by? Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> if you are praying like that, just doing it because you heard somebody say to you, hey, what you should do or your prayers are going to be answered more if you pray every day. If you pray just in a routine-ish way, if that is a word, if you do things in that way, that may be the reason why your prayers are not being answered. Have you thought about that? Really think about that. I am not saying that you have to yell like, ah, Jesus, you can if you want to. You know, you may have to go in your car or <laughs> go somewhere where not many people are at you can do that if you want to but put more emotion to what you are saying when you do that this is saying that your prayer is going to be more effective how amazing is that i am learning something from this as well because sometimes i get really lazy and my prayers just being honest so if you forget everything that I have said put more emotion to what you are praying about don't pray like this <laughs> uh, thank you Jesus uh, yes please heal my back or please you know, heal Uncle Bob, you know, he is really hurting. You know, put more emotion, put more emotion into it. Make it more intense. When you are angry with someone, how are you going to act? You are not going to be like, I am so angry. Boy, can't you tell that I am so angry? <laughs> I am mad. 
I don't know why that person did what that person did. You are going to put more emotion into it. I am not saying that you are going to sin, but you are going to put emotion in what you are saying and doing. You are not going to be all laxed in. Wow, that per I am so mad. Ooh, so mad. Can't you tell by my face? <laughs> I am so mad. Ooh, I'm about to fall asleep because I am so angry. <laughs> Put emotion into what you are saying. When you do that, this is saying that it is going to be more effective. Why do something and it is not going to be effective? Why even waste your time? You can watch cartoons or something, you know, or do something else. <laughs> so put more emotion into what you are saying. If not, just continue doing what you are doing and wonder why your prayers are being hindered. So this is one of the many reasons. This may not be the reason because there are other factors as well, but this may be one of the many reasons. So we all, including myself, we all have to fix this. If we don't, no wonder. <laughs> okay. God bless.